this is Schechter. Uh, I want to share with you some lift elevator designs I've made. Uh, the first one is on the right, denoted by the one. This one is propelled while you're in the cart elevator lift itself by this uh, rope drum belt drive. And I'll show you that here now. Let's see if we can get rid of this shaking. There we go. Uh, you can see that this is fairly stable, um, mainly due to the belt drive being a bit wonky. It uh, shakes a bit, and near the top, you're going to see this ramp that I had to construct because of that belt drive. It doesn't go to an established level, so the ramp is so you can be able to offload your goods or whatever you bring up in it, being yourself or a cart. You come down, and if you didn't have the belt drive issue that I've been having, um, you would uh, offload here, but I have to offload here, or if I do it one less, about three spots down, which still makes it very difficult to offload anything. Uh, let's take a look at this side right here. Here is the mechanism that allows the stability of the elevator. Um, originally I had just blocks going around these pillars um, that did not provide the stability I needed because uh, when you try to get on or off it still be pushed out of the way you might fall down or uh, something gets stuck uh, so each of these wheels is under a bit of a strain so the two wheels on the bottom and the two wheels on top they're pushing towards that mountain over there on the wall on the pillar these two wheels are pushing towards that direction on the pillar and then the same thing on this side uh, gives it some stability and then underneath here is where the wheels go right here on there this is what the elevator at the bottom would sit on uh, to create the structure I first did mainly the structure itself then bef with the pillars you can either put the cart in before then or take out this first section here up at a good distance it makes pasting in your uh, dynamic cart much easier uh, while doing that I would recommend just putting in the cart pasting in the cart itself that way you don't have to worry about trying to align wheels or the drive system all the way up there the second elevator design, which is my favorite, uh, or preferred at the moment, denoted by this too, is this one. This is a self-propelled uh, elevator, which was demonstrated, if you've seen the AT-AT by Captain Jaros. Um, the same thing for the wheels and the base. The structure is identical, except when you do this, it will take you up and no more clicking, no more doing anything else. You just get to sit here and wait and wait some more. I will show you the uh, drive mechanism I have that. It's based off his clutch uh, plate with the rotors. This structure right here is to stop the elevator from going any higher. Same with that and that and those that's oh, uh, when you get to the top you'll stop the clutch plate for the upside allows the rotor to keep spinning but the drive mechanism for the elevator will slip on that so you don't uh, get your lift damaged or stuck and you'll soon be able to see the system I have right here and right there on the left of that side you can see the clutch plate system and when we get near the top, it should start slipping, hopefully. Yep, you see how the right there on the side stops spinning, but the rotor keeps spinning. And so that will allow us to send this back down. So now it's engaged on the right side with that spinning from that rotor, and the cart goes back down. No muss, no fuss. Almost like a normal elevator, except you can't don't have a call button inside. So the way that I designed this is over here. 
Ooh. Right here, you have a belt drive system from this uh, wheel up. And then this goes to another belt drive system where the wheel that we used to send it back down, down here. And this will be covered with more archways, so that way, I mean, you can have more buildings or a street here if you want. I designed that way so it would be hidden. It comes through these archways, as you can see here, through to another belt drive system to these rope drums. These rope drums are then attached uh, to two torsion bars which have the thrower arm attachment right here as the pin point so whenever you move the belt drive uh, wheels this will move back this way to bring it up and then this way to send it back down. These are the rotors over here and here this is the clutch plate design right here and this is the cart by itself this top part is a fixed structure with these wheels pushing down on this bar right here that way so when you this moves back and forth it doesn't pivot or any direction same with these wheels and then this cart is loosely based off of this uh, the internal area, well, I'll do a quick cutaway. Looks something like this. So the, these on the inside allow a stop point, an internal stop point, so that when you pivot the whole cart back and forth, it doesn't move in or out completely and I believe that is it for this self-propelled design oh up here this is standard belt drive system that you see going down these are various prototypes that I started with trying to work out uh, first design was originally just going to be a slider system like this but I found that the wheels one put it this drive shaft at a more central location or align better with this than uh, not having the wheels. I kept trying this for a little bit, still didn't work, and then I eventually came to here with this torsion bar, which as you can see, the just the sole torsion bar didn't really work too well, so I went to the two, which worked much better. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, gave you some other future ideas for improving things. Uh, have a good day.